Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old Road Blues in our series A to Z in which we're playing as Big Grass and we're led by a certain Relcom so if you'd like to read about him please go ahead they're watching me and this actually does have a unique focus for you of all things so Reliable communications long ago in the sorrows crested hills of Canada where a man was made into a machine the birth of Relcom. Long before the war, the man was taken from roadside by men in black. This man's identity is lost a time with the last who cared to let no killed alongside a snatching him. His mind was harvested and placed into an experiment, itself a derivative of robo brain technology. Uh, though only a work in progress in name, it was known as the Relcom Unit or the Reliable Communications, this machine. Well, only slightly larger than your average robo brain was with, and with only a couple more appendages than your usual, was capable of interfacing with an entire f faculty or facility, similarly remotely. Imperfect, but capable. Relcom was entrusted with much of the day-to-day -day of the robo brain production facility he was hosted in. Though unintended, he held much sway over what came to be in the facility. With Canadian dissidents growing bolder, of friends and family disappeared in the facility's crimson the doors. Relcom knew he could prioritize securing the factory's walls from intruders or improve the factory's resources and production, therefore speeding up the work. Which did he pursue? An iron line against his enemies? Every cow must be milked. Mm, local manpower is okay. Uh, resource wise, we're doing alright as well. And if we conquer some areas around us, we'll still get the same thing. But energy is probably going to be lacking, so let's grab some energy. And Little Red Books. Relcom read things he should not be reading. Like me. The first strike down. It's not the first time Relcom has woken up, but it will be the last. Which, um, yeah, I did not think that this would be the way it is. It's very different. I just was not expecting this, but the most peculiar little thing. When left to uh, one's own devices for too long, one can often think too much on many things, for example, or for some. It is the matter which life has led, whether it be their own or elsewise. However, however, others may think on simpler things, such as dinner or what the wife does while they're at work, but Relcom thought about society. As he crept through the laboratories, and he crawled along the facility's chasms and chambers, he would often see slackers, wretched dogs who would do little yet, e do little yet gain equal credit. What sickened this giga brain was even more than was the executives, the uptight mongrels who ordered him, yet did nothing of themselves. He hated everything of it, the incessant, uncaring demands they made, the sickly way they ordered a lower egghead to prepare their coffee. He began to look into other means of thought. Schools that he was told were forbidden to him. Digging through the possessions of one of the senior scientists, he found a little red book, itself emblazoned with iconic iconography. He knew it was not meant to see, then he did the unthinkable, he began to read it. My my, what red flavor! Hush, little commie, don't say a word. More temper some more output. Third time the charm. Relcom thought long and hard about the book and its contents for a time. He wondered over its possibility to be equal among peers, he thought. Was the ultimate dream of any true individual, surely. Even so, as he silently studied his colleagues within the facility, he saw the bitter dejectment of the lower scientists and the hacking need, cackling of the executives, and made it him made him think, why was it like this? And for a time it troubled him greatly. Why would people delight in such suffering? Why would they stomp upon the fellow fellow men and women with such ferocity? The answer came like a dream, a nostalgic feeling of goosebumps settling over his brain matter. They were disillusioned by his own body. It was a simple betrayal, really. The human experiment itself had failed many times across generations. Metal, though? Metal was eternal in ways that flesh could not be. It was beyond skin color, weight, beyond anything. It was merely beyond, and that was the simplest truth that could be told. Overnight, Relcom set to his new manifesto, turning all of his peers into the same machino form that he had become. Many struggled, but others were simply caught unaware and were unable to fight him, and he turned his, and his turned machines. Before he knew it, he had an army, and then the bombs fell. Not even the end of the world could stop me. More political power, this one. Decimation begets reclusion. Reclusion begets dissolution. Uh, we have enough war support for now. Uh, even though this is more permanent, what can we do with the political power? Because we could just start getting some more army XP, which would be very nice. Captain of Industry. These are different and unique, which is very awesome to see. I love what the devs have done with this. It's very, very awesome. Very unique. It's not bad. Do other people support too? Let's down here. Mass. Ooh, big band. Masterful musician. More. Co oh. 10% more compliance growth speed and 10% less resistance growth speed. Very nice. And less resistance target on a speaker. Propaganda designer. Ooh. Weekly manpower plus 7. Propaganda to be effective. It must be believed. We believe it. It must be credible. To be credible, it must be true. Propaganda is amazing. People can be led to believe anything. Controversial researcher. I'm going to go with this one. Not even the bomb could stop progress. Even after the nuclear holocaust ravaged the Earth, Relcom survived alongside his mandated brethren, thriving within the depths of the facility for decades. He would hide, sending only the most remote of scouts out to gather additional supplies as they were needed. For years, wanderers disappeared when they came too close to the factory, like rabbits delivering themselves to wolves. Legend spoke of the many legged machines, how he would drag your children away, never to be seen again. Relcom delighted in these terrors, but paid them no mind. Those who were not of the Union mind could not understand his motive. 
Eventually, when he grew bolder, he began sending out more and more and more people disappearing. Soon after, however, someone had had enough, and one of the Soltrons in the facility did not return. The distraught Rokom ordered search parties, but no one were able to find anything. Instead, some disappeared. The Rokom was at a loss. Anger, nay, tragedy fell over him. One of Soltron was worth so much. His sorrows did not last long, however, for soon after a new force had arisen within the area, the Capitalizer. What is this gross mockery? Freedom incarnate. Her origins were unknown, oh no. Her existence was unknown. Her very purpose was unknown at last, or at least, until she destroyed several of Rokom's patrols. Only when they came face to face did it more become clear to Rokom. The Capitalizer, his most hated enemy, was the very same as Soltron he had lost, but clearly modified into some disgusting American mascot of Heckish, mirrored a conscious of his own. For freedom, she cried for liberty. Whoever its designer was, however, its systems were programmed. He was too enamored with rage to question it. In this rage, he lost himself, and the capitalizer was able to decimate the factory by her lonesome, uh, lonesome self, leaving Rokum buried under the factory rubble a second time. Decades passed, and soon, like his brothers and sisters, he's, he fell asleep. No comma keeps me down. Uh, let's see. Now we have that. Uh, I like political power, and I'm going to grab that stuff here, so that's worth the mess. Mass for musicians is pretty good, too. I do want to grab, probably, this is not bad. Um, that's not bad, too. 50% asymmetrical warfare, same as this one. Uh, you get daily army XP gain, plus 0.2. This is only 0 0.05. Attrition's okay. It's super penalty's not bad. Fail not is pretty good, though. Um, what is this? At war, oh, it'd be a war for that. Opening up the casket. Well, let's get some more stability. Opening up the casket. 60 day focus, wow. The Scarlet Casket, as some of the locals have come to know it as, is a colossal robo brain production facility nestled within the northern reaches of Alberta. Twice. The production stopped within its halls, and once when the bombs fell, and another when the capitalizer came through. Local incidents. The wicked little capitalist fleshlings lurked out there, contributing nothing but taking everything. This must be addressed, but caution must be taken, lest capitalizer, the capitalizer, takes notice of my resurgence. Huh. Productivity shall return after the break. Sneaking out of the casket. More political power, more weekly manpower, but you lose stability for 240 days. Collectivization through metal. Only a scant few have joined the Union mine. Even still, we may collect what we can and restore what little survive the capitalizer's wickedness. Sneaking out of the casket. Organizing operations to scour capitalist mines from their feeble bodies will allow our ranks to flourish it again. Though many of them have uh, ran from the loving, familial embrace of communism, it shall become my mission yet again to teach these wayward non-contributors how to work amongst others. And productivity shall return after the break. The capitalizer's fearsome streak took out much of the casket, even after the miserable attack, and even after those silly little capitalist dogs infiltrated my domain. The facilities and the vassals proved to be a benefit. Some yet survives. All I must do is find the switch. Now it's time for uh, my voice to crack, but oh, a little war with the entrance. Let's see what happens, of course, and they attack us. Okay, what else? We did grab a steel soldiers because we could, and I was saving this, see if we could get up to here, but we need more world attention. Oh, six, more than 6% world attention, we're 59%, nice. But where we are, keep in mind of how to keep mines. If we wish to ensure a city's and resurgent growth of the Union mind, we need to take amicable steps to secure a proper pipeline from the miserable little capitalist hovels to our lovely little casket. Clearing the line. In order for production of metal shells to resume, and for the workers of communism to once again grace the casket's halls, we must clear out the rubble and destruction for the capitalizer's previous attacks. And if they want to attack us a whole bunch, please let them. Ibot, Ibot, what do you see? With their renewed strength, they're unleashing what Ibots we have left over from our last level help us secure the region of our outside facility, and vanquish any ne'er-do-wells who wish to get in our way. Ooh, I bought analysis protection. Nice. Defense of core territory. Damage garrison goes down. Awesome. And the ideal workforce. The ideal workforce truly is one that cannot fathom working outside of the system, giving their utmost to contribute and acknowledge the greater needs of society or themselves. If they w they cannot see it this way by flesh, then they shall do so with metal just as I have. Nice. And 58% world attention, which kind of sucks. Losses. None versus 109. Very good. Nice so far. Um, They don't have that much manpower. Quite a few divisions, that's okay. If we had to, I would like to attack here. I don't know if it would be a very successful attack. Well, we could try it. Also, I did throw on these divisions. Um, support robots, or no, CNC bots. So, they do lower armor a little bit, but they give more defense, breakthrough, soft attack, hard attack, expression, stuff like that. And no more HP too, so. I think overall, it'll be a very good addition to what we have. Another man's trash, which is rare for me to do because I don't have very much... Um, I don't do many campaigns with robots, so this is kind of interesting. I do want to grab this for more daily air XP, so we're just going to grab that immediately. And naval stuff, expression technology, sure, why not. Beached whale, you know what, screw it, we'll do that too, because we can. Entrance, huh? What if we just decided to split our uh, divisions like this, and have them like attack a very thin line of ours? Well, that might be worth it. If we get two political power, might down. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of political power. Yeah, they're attacking us here, which is nice. 
And something exploded. The Burning Leaf. For a six front war. Alright, not bad. Let them do what they want. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're all at war with them. Oh, shnikes. Well, that's not good. Let's go in. Let's have a good time with these guys. Because that's really not good. I didn't realize that, what, that would uh, hurt us that badly. So. Um, I might have to redo this just a little bit just because uh, it's not good for us. That's not good for us at all. Oh, well. White Court. Yeah, it's actually really bad. Missing a lot of robots. Good. Take the entrance. White Court, hopefully we'll do okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we got him. Walkerton. Provides tools. Got some more manpower because you can. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Come on. Resistors. Dan and New Reno, and there you go. That should be it, right? Yes. Nice. And we're gonna go immediately. Oh, frontline platoons. Now, frontline platoons. Does that af does it affect elite robots? Um, and combat robot platoons. That really hurts us badly. So. Frontline platoons, less organization, but robots get more organization in the end. Security robot platoons go down by five. Information relays. Yeah, huh. Interesting. Alright. Go like that, and then we'll start attacking it this way, even though we definitely, definitely, definitely need more divisions. Oh, that's just doing us, huh? Nice. They really want to come in our lands. Which I do not like. Go, 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 go! Red Scare returns. You betcha. And more manpower is nice and all. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, no. And... Oh, we are iBots. Look at that. I love it. Love it. Now go here. Riverdale. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. No, just go to White Court. Why not? And since we're over here, I can precision is great. Conscripts. Nice. So we should need way less of that and just use guns for all that stuff we need over there. Go and do that too. Why not? Oh, I took White Court. That's nice. Cynthia. Marlboro? Was that where they make cigarettes? They can't pierce us. We'll feel good. Simulation of refugees, whatnot. Um, every cap for the army. We're going to save it for that one. Nice. Swan Hills. Or just have you guys go this way. Yay, another division. Awesome. Cleaning the lines, casket stuff. In order to prepare the possible turn of the capitalists, we must expand this capacity for processing facility and free more people from their inferior forms. Well, that's not bad. Cleaning the lines would be good. Casket demands more. Or, we just go over here. Emergency productivity quotas. With one underway, we must take great care in producing as many metal shows as possible for newly infected brethren. Or newly inducted brethren. In order to restore the human mind to working capacity, we must further clean up our pipes and other such minuscule details, thus we have an incident similar to last time. And we're doing really well here. I love it. How many divisions we got? Uh, it's, a, it's an amount. Bruh. Come on. Cool. Oh, good God, this is going to be difficult. Oh, shnikes, this is not good. Um, yeah, this is really not good. They have a lot of divisions. The Strath Commune. Okay, so I'll be honest, I might have some consequences for the Strath Commune. These guys are going to be very tough to beat. I'm not looking forward to this group at all. Uh, oh, there's a lot of lag. Okay, why is there so much lag? It's not like and my apologies about that, everybody, but the mod 
crash. So, here we're at. Um, we're trying to beat up the commune, but it, it's going. It's definitely going, so. I uh, got that capital. Hopefully we can maybe cut them off. I don't know. It's not easy trying to beat up these guys. Got more manpower now, though, finally. Casket demands more. Hopefully we can do okay. We just deleted a division there. You hold. I want you guys to get two-ish, there-ish. Guys, looks like they do want to try to encircle us, which will suck, but whatever. Get these guys in place for now. Get back up there. Um, no barrage balloons. We definitely need more robots, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is, you know. So, here. Okay, let's go right there. And circle and destroy. I want you guys to get out of there as well. Just because that's not going to be good. You guys keep those guys there. Yes, it just kind of sucks. We just don't have enough of anything here. And fighting all these people at the same time is kind of kind of not easy. Um, all right, so that division has been destroyed, which is great. You guys get up there. Go right there. Uh, you should do that, 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 that. You should be able to move pretty quickly through all this territory. And cut them off. Get some organization. Do not get yourself encircled. Destroy that division as well. We can only get 1.3 political power per day. Treasure trove is nice. Yeah, I don't know why it's, it's crashed like three times already in this this campaign. Uh, so I'm not really sure what, what what's up, but you know, whatever. Here, just go in. Don't waste time like that. You guys are trying to cut them off there. Oh, we have to fight these guys. Oh my god, this war is kind of nuts. Absolutely nuts. Or you guys just go down here. Go to Devon. Go to there. Go to there. To there. To there. And circle and destroy them all, if possible. Which would be nice. Um. Well, we're moving in. Uh huh. There you go. Come on. You guys do anything there? Maybe? No. Yes. No. Go right there. Should be able to destroy these guys and go into there and then there, there, there. Come on. You got this. Good. Can they pierce us? Yes, they can, which is not good. Also, I did grab the murderizer. Murderizer. For more attack, which is awesome. Um, good. And I guess go here too. <clears throat> Got a lot of attack, which is nice. We're gonna force it. Commander proxies, information relays. Hopefully we can win here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If not, I'm gonna use Cons commands, because this is this is a bit ridiculous. South Commune has way too many divisions for what they actually have, so I think they need to be a bit nerfed. But then again, who am I? Oh my god. Get down here. Casket demands more. Yeah, I'm going to use cons commands for this one. This is, this is ridiculous. This is incredibly stupid. Oh, what are you doing up there? No, you guys might want to go right there, probably. Uh, let's bomb the hill. Look, cried the wanderer. The old factory sat upon the hill. He sprouted. Spring's brother on taking a glance. The lads came back on that factory. He sat upon a hill. This is so stupid. My God. This is so stupid. Even with forcing the attack, we still can't do jack squat there. That's so bad. I mean, how are we supposed to do with, like, we start with four divisions in total. How are we supposed to fight these guys? So, 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 so stupid. Who designed this? You know what? You guys are going to treat. Get out of here. I mean, infinite manpower and stuff like this? Yeah, Strathcom I mean, needs a nerf. It really needs a nerf. I'm gonna force it. Oh my god, as soon as, of course they do that, as soon as we do that, too. This is, this is, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to use cons commands. This is ridiculous. Whoever designed this it does not know what they're doing. I mean, I'll be honest, like, this is, this is so stupid. It's so stupid, it's not fun. up there so it looks like I'm gonna have to use cons commands for this because this is way way too much and after manually rebalancing this because it you can't buy the Strath commune they're just way too strong 
Um, I also like like won't use cons commands, unfortunately, to see about the Commonwealth Remnants, Vermilion Wainwright, uh, because it, there's nothing. There's no way you can take out these guys. We didn't even edit these divisions that much at all. Like, we're only 12 combat with. We're not that overpowered or anything with with like these robot divisions. So, I don't know what the devs were thinking when they programmed this, you know, or created this. I like the idea of it all, but like, a lot of this. Mm, could use a little bit more tweaking because it's just not ready yet. It's just not ready. But you know, who am I? I'm just guy on the internet complaining usually. So, um, yeah. I mean, twelve combat with. They think it's enough for everything? I don't think so. Especially when they have up to forty divisions. Uh, Warhawk. Yeah, it's all right. Nuclear manpower. Resistance circuit goes down. I don't mind that. Less resistance circuit's kind of nice. Let's see. Ah, go victory fire for for so. For so. Look at that, yeah. Well, it's totally overpowered when we can't even take this division out. Actually, another tile there. They don't. Just good. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. So, seven divisions not enough. These guys are not killing each other, which I don't understand. Are they even moving? They're kind of moving around. Eh, somewhat, ish. Yeah, I mean, I mean, robots are just not great. They can be okay sometimes, but like, they're just not great. How do you not suffer from some off supply issues? So. Lakeland, come on, come on, come on. Get. Okay, so there goes the Iron Confederacy. I'm taking everything because I don't care at this point. Like, there, there's things here that need to be redone. But I've said that before. Alrighty, righty, 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 righty. And there you go. Alright, so I'm not going to deal with these guys over here. I'm going to deal with these guys in the center. Because we can destroy the center, then we cover it up right here, and we should be okay. So I need you guys to start moving. No, you ding dongs! I literally just go around here, go here, right up on the hill. So, yeah, it's just a mess. It's just a gigantic mess that is not great. Born in the capitalizer's gaze. Well, it's been quite some time. There's no doubt within my giggle brain that the capitalizer still roams these lands. Costume nay, but preparations must be made for the rival. To ever repeat it last time would be simply too embarrassing. Red versus blue. The first red comrade still lives, brother. Many of the old robo brains and other sort of machines in our employ still yet remain, trapped under the rubble or kept safe beneath the cold, searing ice. <clears throat> or, uh, uh, searing cold ice. So I'm to get our hammers and our sickles to carve them free of their timely prisons. That's fine. We can be hostile against them. So. See what you can do. That as well. So if I had to, I would use cons commands again, because parts of this are just at this point in my toy four career, I'm just like, whatever. If it's not it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I don't have time to mess around with issues that should be resolved already. Look at that. Ridiculous. Oh, you're supposed to be able to fight them all using robots. Yeah, no. So. Come on. Come on. There you go. All the way through here. Vermilion Cell. It looks like we're probably going to use cons commands for this again. Which sucks, because I don't want to use any more cons commands, but replacing corrupt files. Many of my files, especially those pertaining to information on building the perfect union mine, were destroyed during the Capitalizer's last attack. With some caretaking, we may be able to restore these files, and with them, schematics of a careful choosing. How do we do this? Oh, that's after a certain amount of time. Leaving these ancient halls. For too long, we've peeked, uh, peeked out of crevices for our inner factorium walls. If the insistent capitalist scum will not come to us, and it falls, let's meet them halfway. Assembly this factory capitalized be darn, flicking the right switch. Though much of it was destroyed in the casket, many of my beloved switches still remain. With my eyebots and my robot brains, this union mile will surely be able to find the right switch to bring the scarlet castle back to life once for all. And of the capitalizer. Just as Relcom's schemes were bearing the greatest fruit, a triumphant trumpet sounded through the halls of the Scarlet Casket. For a moment, it was all set in the production facility, and not a line did move or did a bot did think. The capitalizer had returned, but unfortunately, that's all the time for I have today, so I apologize for using cons commands. We're just going to use cons commands for all this stuff, because it's impossible to play this nation, but if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great, great, great rest of your day.